How are you, students? Okay, so I do hope you're fine in our session right now. Once again, this is your tutor, Jess, for this subject, reading and writing skills. Okay, just wait for a while. All right, so we are now ready to have our next session, our episode for this afternoon. All right, students, kaway kaway naman dyan, yung mga nanonood ngayon, ang ating viewers, please have your comments, okay, para malaman natin kung ano ba yung mga questions ninyo later on, para masagot natin agad-agad, all right? So, once again, welcome to our Italy program, the online tutorial for this session. Okay, so welcome, students. For reading and writing skills. We're now in quarter four, week one. We will be discussing the lesson hypertext and intertext. All right. So this is Tutor Jess for reading and writing skills. Live po tayo sa ating DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd the Philippines, DepEd Dayo. For uh, in our Facebook, and we're our Dep Ed Ethic Unit and Dep Ed TV in our YouTube. Thank you. So we have good PM. Pa shout out po kami dito sa Floor National High School, Apayo Division. Hello, Joa, Kojamat. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Avid fan, <laughs> right? So thank you so much, Sir Joel. Joel, so for having us today. So, sino pa mga kakilala pa po? Ninyo. So, invite them all. So, sino pa ang mga andito? Welcome po sa ating reading and writing skills. So, thank you. Shout out natin ang Taga Florida National High School, Apayao Division. All right. So, the, the module now is divided into two lessons. Namely, we have lesson one, hypertext, and a lesson two, intertext. Hmm. Let's try to see... What's it in this mojo? Hello, Mary Jane Gastillo. We have also Melody Agimba. Good afternoon. All right. Good afternoon po sa ating lahat. All right. So kanina lang po nag-discuss ako sa ating, nag-discuss ako sa ating lesson ng ating subject na English for Academic and Professional Purposes. But this time, I'm still here for our next subject that is for my subject, reading and writing skills for senior high school. Thank you so much for being, being so, or right, um, that kind of determination in you, no, in your heart, no, to study more on this, okay, amid the COVID-19 or amid this pandemic situation we have. All right, before we start, yes, Angelica Orenia, good afternoon. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Joel Kujamat. All right, so I do hope you're in safe place and situation where you're now. We have also Erlinda Kudia from Kansinala High School. Thank you so much. Mag-attendance tayo, ha? <laughs> so, uh, hopefully, um, tune in kayo always sa ating subjects na reading and writing skills. So, maybe, no, sooner or later, we have to have this a game or we have this kind of a, an interactive Okay, interactive, what I call this, a kind of a process, no? All right, a process of this lesson. All right, number two, I, number one is, number one objective that we're going through after this discussion. All right, so we will obtain, we will obtain, okay? What we're going through, obtain, uh, understand concept of the Hypertext and intertextuality. Number two is obtain information in a customized manner through hypertext. Again, this is all about hypertext and intertext. Then we will compare or we will analyze the, the between the two. Okay? And determine the key elements of intertextuality. All right. So that's it. 
Number four is differentiate intertext from other types of text development. Okay? Differentiate intertext from other types of text development. And number five, identify hypertext and intertext as methods of text development. As methods, huh? So let's try to see. Okay, this is what I know. I do hope you have your, in your modules, you have your paper and pen, okay, with you right now so that I will be the one to guide you in answering our module. Again, we're using the module coming from Calabarzon, okay, Feebot, okay, Calabarzon. And this time, we're now in quarter four. We're now in quarter four. And that is all about the topics, intertext and hypertext. All right, so, so uh, later, you have your activity. Okay, this time, write the correct answer on a separate sheet of paper. Write the correct answer. You write only the letter of the correct answer. And I have this one and two questions. Out, gay okay, from this session, we have this class. We have Joel, Angelica, Erlinda, Melody, Mary Jane, and whosoever here, please answer number one and two. What you're going to do is to write a number, and after the number is to write the letter, capital letter of the correct answer. So let's start and let's try. Number one, which of the following does not describe hypertext? A, it allows readers to access information particularly suited to their needs. B, it pertains readers to create their own meaning out of the material given to them and learn better associatively. C, it is a text displayed on a computer display or other electronic devices with and for references to the text that, uh, that the reader can immediately access. It's D, we have D, it is a linear way of presenting information and is usually accomplished and connected using links. What is your answer? Any, any from the group or from the class right now? Or from the students they have. Sino po ang nandito? We have Joel, Mary Jane, Melody, Erlinda. We have Angelica. Oh, according to May Resurrection. Resurrection. Okay. Is it B? Okay. Let's try to find out. You write a number, ha? You write a number para malaman natin kung saan kayo sumasagot ngayon. Number two. Which of the following terms refer to other forms of multimedia? Okay, example, the images, the audio, and the video that stimulate the senses and are incorporated in the links. A, hyperlinks. B, hypermedia. C, links. D, URL. You answer right now. Answer, answer po tayo. Answer po natin yung number one tsaka number two. Tingnan niya natin kung ano ang tamang sagot. Based sa got ni May Resurrection, according to her, okay, she answered number one B, number two is B. Tingnan niya natin. So saan na sila Joel? Saan na sila Erlinda? Hello? Mag-answer kayo. Si Angelica. Si Mary Jane, so saan kayo ngayon? Mag-answer kayo sa ating pretest. So tingnan nga natin. Number one is letter D ang answer. It is a linear way presenting. Why is it D? Not describe hypertext from the word linear way or somewhat like other term. Tingnan nga natin. Number two. Number two is letter B. Hypermedia. All right, for number three and four, which of the following is not a characteristic of hypertext? Tingnan nga natin, May Resurrection, Joel, Erlinda, Melody, Mary Jane. Ano ang inyong mga answers? Letter A, text flows in a straight line through a book. B, it acts as a bridge between two basic, opposite, and complementing elements, free and shortcut. C, 
In a hypertext system, the reader is free to navigate information by exploring the connections provided. D. Hypertext is an unconver uh, unconventional way of presenting information as compared to the usual linear form. What about number? According to Erlinda B, ang answer for number three. So, lagyan natin na number, ha? So, number four. Which of the following is a link from a hypertext file or document to another location or file typically activated by clicking on a highlighted word or image on the screen? A, hyperlink. B, hypermedia. C, link. D, URL. Answer now! Woo, woo, woo! All right, you have your answers, class. Tingnan niya natin. According to Erlinda, we have B. I think answer niya ito sa number three. How about itong kay? Oh, may resurrection. According to her, C. Lagyan natin na number ha para malaman natin kung ano. Three, C, four, four, C. Oh, oh four, C do according to me. Tingnan niya natin. For number three, that is A. Text flows in a straight line through a book. So why is it not a characteristic of hypertext? Later on, we'll be knowing about that one, about that one. Number two is letter A, hyperlink. Tingnan nga natin kung tama tayo mamaya. Number five and six. This relationship between or among texts happens when a writer or speaker explicitly or implicitly pertains to an idea or passage found in another text without the use of quotation. A. Allusion. B. Pastic. Or C. Quotation. D. Retelling. Okay. Number six. It is the method method of directly lifting the exact statements or set of words from a text another author has made. A. Allusion. B. Pastic. C. Quotation. D. Retelling. Okay, saan dito? Retelling. Saan dito? Ano ang ating mga answers for number 5 and 6? Okay, comment down below in our comment box, students. Tingnan nyo natin kung ano ang tamang sagot. Okay, tingnan nyo natin. Right, right. Alright, number 5. According to Orlinda. Orlinda at Rialin Ong Ongay, El Resurrection. Tingnan natin. Number 5 is letter A, Allusion. Number 6 is, okay, tingnan nyo natin. Aha, uh -huh. this is letter C, quotation. Merong mga clues dyan. Why is it letter C? Alright, number 6 and seven, uh, 7 and 8. Norse mythodol, a mythology of Europe, was the inspiration of Victor Magdangol, an action fantasy series of Jim A. Network. What text development has been used in crafting this story? Number 8. It is one form of intertextuality that utilizes the process of restatement of a story or re-expression of a narrative. So, tingnan natin ang ating answer. For number seven, hypertext, hyperlink, B, intertext, C, analysis, D, context. Okay? Number eight, allusion, B, past take, C, quotation, D, retelling. Ano ang tamang sagot? Tingnan na natin from the group. Okay? So we have number eight. What is your answer? Or number seven? Any from the class who can answer this one? All right. For number seven, we have letter B, intertext. What about number eight? Is it A, allusion, B, pastike or pastic? C, Quotation, D, retelling. The correct answer is letter D, retelling. All right. I do hope, I do hope you have your, the analysis because since this still, no, our pretest, you will know deeper about this. And what I'm, what, why I'm doing this because I want to diagnose or what, can I help you, no? During the remediation. Then since it's tutorial, I will remediate you, no? For this topic. What's in? 
Let's try to find out that reading and writing goes beyond finding the linkage of the evidences and corresponding texts and identifying and interpreting possible uncertainties and flaws in the reasoning of the author. So meaning to say, reading and writing are intertwined all together or both reading and writing. Okay. Moreover, reading now involves a relatively new way of reading a text online as brought by the advent of the internet and technology. Mind you that we are now in the era of the 21st century. 21st century. And most of us are fond no, in using the internet and the technology. Okay. What's new? Okay, what's new on this? Digital devices, the browsers, and other similar technology have made it very easy for readers to obtain the information they want in a sequence that they refer, prefer. This is through the use of links, which takes the reader into another text. So meaning to say, we have these links. Okay, ano itong mga links? Tingnan natin later on. Directions. You click and link. Open the e-copy of the paragraph below in a document located in the laptop or computer provided. Of you by your teacher. Now, if you have this in your in your home or at home that you have, let's try to find out and go with it with the task. Click all the highlighted words or phrases and look for its brief description by completing the table below. I have this table, class, all right? I have this table. Then what you're going to do is to find a link. Meron dyan na link at saka meron how you would describe that link. Tingnan na natin, okay? Okay, tingnan natin, hyperlink dyan. Alludes derives from or relates to earlier work or hypotext. This is, okay, this comes from Wikipedia. That is the free encyclopedia. For example, jo James Joyce Ulysses could be regarded as one of the many hypertexts deriving the Homer's Odyssey, Angela Carter's, The Tiger's Bride, can be considered hypertext, which relates to an earlier work or hypotext. The original fairy tale or fairy story, Beauty and the Beast. Hypertext may take a variety of forms, including imitation, parody, and pastic or pastique. So now, students, or from our viewers right now, what you're going to do is to find the links. Saan ba dyan ang mayroong link? Okay. Paano ba na matasabi natin na ito ay isang link? Ito ay mayroong hyperlink. Paano natin masasabi? Madali lang, di ba? Okay. You try to locate. Okay. From the students, ano ba ang tamang sagot dyan? Okay. Paano ba natin malalaman na ito ay hyperlink? Okay. Any, any from the students who can answer this one? Paano natin malalaman na ito ay mayroong hyperlink? Tingnan nga natin sa mga students, Joel, Erlinda, Rialil, May, Resurrection. Okay? Paano natin malalaman, di ba? Kung titingnan natin itong text na ito, maraming nakalinyang blue. Okay? Maraming nakalinyang blue. Then out of that, naka-blue yung ating words. Merong linyang blue at saka merong blue na mga words. What are these? Tingnan natin. Alright, these are highlighted words. Example, the word alludes. The word alludes. So tingnan natin sa previous slide. Di ba? Nakalinya ng blue at saka naka-blue ang word. Meaning to say, there would be a hidden or if you click that one and you go to that link, you will find the definition. You will find the definition. Alludes. Hypotext. Then, those are words that can be found and other words that are found in that 
text. What do you mean by alludes? To speak of or mention something or someone in a di indirect way. So, mean to say, pag i-click nyo yan, i-click nyo yung alludes, lalabas yan sa inyong okay, laptop or sa cellphone nang ibig sabihin ay to speak of or mention something or someone indirectly way. What about hypotext? An earlier text which serves as the source of of a subsequent piece of literature or hypertext. So meaning, these words have this meanings, have this descriptions. Okay? So that is the example of hypertexts. This time, we have directions. Rearrange the jumbled letters to decode the needed words. After doing so, put these words together inside the box below to unlock the meaning of the given term. Again, from our class today, or sino ba yung mga viewers natin right now, participants, these are the jumbled words and you arrange these words. Let's try to find out. What are these words? Okay, ano ba ang nakikita natin dyan? Any from the class? Resurrection, Joel, Angelica, Erlinda. Hi, Sir Jess. Excuse me po. Sir, nawalan po kayo ng audio, sir. Hello? Okay, and you na. Okay. All right. So, students, so, tingnan natin. Hypertext, aka, sinabi ko nga kanina. Okay? It is a text displayed on a computer. Diba? To electronic devices. Kung familiar, familiar kayo sa mga HTTP, no? So, kung i-click natin yan, pupunta kayo sa isang site. Okay? With references to other texts that the reader can immediately access. Tingnan nga natin. Ang www.is World Wide Web. Okay. 
is a global hypertext system of information residing on okay servers linked across the internet. Diba? Kung sabihin natin www, that is World Wide Web. So, pupunta kayo dyan, no? Pupunta kayo dyan sa ating... Okay. Okay. Alright. Sa ating site. Okay. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Okay. The term hypertext, okay? The term hypertext was coined by Ted. Ted. Sino ba itong si Ted Nelson in 1963? So, tingnan nga natin. Okay, this is Theodore. This is Theodore Home Nelson. Born in June 17, 1937, is an American pioneer of information technology, philosopher, and sociologist. He coined with the terms hypertext and hypermedia in 1963 and published them in 1965. That is Ted Nelson, Theodore Home Nelson. Well, conversely, a uniform resource locator, URL. Di ba narinig natin kung ano itong URL? Okay, this is colloquially termed a web address. It's a reference to a web resource that specifies its location on a computer network and a mechanism for retrieving it. So, meron tayong URL, that is uniform resource locator. Ano nga yung www? That is... World Wide Web. Ano nga yun, sir? Yung HTTP? That is what? Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Okay, tingnan natin. Alright. Hypertext, a hypertext system, the reader is free to navigate information by exploring the connections provided. Hypertext is very different. A way of presenting information than the usual linear form. Again, this is not linear. Rather, this is nonlinear. Text no longer flows in a straight line through a book. So, sabi nga kanina, di ba? Nag-pretest tayo, hindi siya linear. Hindi siya straight line. But nonlinear and non-straight. Instead, it is broken down into many smaller units. To borrow a term from literary criticism, each addressing a few issues. All right. It acts as bridge between two basic, opposite, and complementing elements that may be called gender of knowledge representation. Okay. Free and shortcut. Okay. All right. Students and viewers, right now. So this is now most web browsers display their URL. Ano yung URL? Ano yung URL? Uniform Resource Locator. Okay, about the page and address bar. This is a typical URL that has this form. HTTP is the protocol. Next, the www. That example. That com. That is host name. And the last is file name. That is protocol, hostname, and file name. Today, links are not just limited to text or documents, but may also incorporate other forms of multimedia such as images, images, audio, and videos that stimulate more senses. This is called hypermedia. Okay, if it touches to images, audios, and videos to Stimulate more senses. These are all hypermedia. Now, let's proceed. Listen to is intertext. We discussed already hypertext. Intertext or intertextuality is technically defined as a process of text development that merges two or more processes such as imitation and creation in the way a text. From one text to another, you intertwine those Two or between the two, that is intertext. Now, intertextuality has rooted from the work of Sue's linguist Ferdinand de Saussure in 1857 to 1913. 
that is uh, he is Ferdinand Sus the Susur, okay, born on November 26, 1857 to February 22, 1913, was a Swiss linguist and semitician and philosopher. His ideas la laid a foundation for many significant developments in both linguistics and semiotics in 20th century. When we talk about semiotics, it is a study how symbols and signs okay, have their meanings. So this is all about semiotics. Okay, don't forget that that is Ferdinand de Saussure. All right, next. Intertextuality is said to take place using specific methods, namely retelling, pastique, or pastic, quotation, and illusion. Again, for intertextuality, intertextuality, we have retelling, pastic, or pastique. Quotation and allusion. This is how to elaborate intertextuality. We have this retelling. It is a statement of a story or re-expression of a narrative. Quotation. It is the method of directly lifting the exact statements or set of words from a text to another author has made. Allusion. In this method, a writer or speaker explicitly or implicitly pertains to an idea or passage found in another text without the use of quotation. And pastic or pastique, it is a text developed, okay, developed in a way that it copies the style or another properties of another text without making fun of it, unlike in a parody. Okay, remember all of those. All right, students. This is how to define, identify the intertext. Are there two or more stories involved? Okay, meron ba mga stories involved out of, out of it? Does the text show a direct or indirect connection or another piece of work? Note, if the reader has affirmation towards these questions, the text C or she is dealing with contains enter text. Kapag andito yan, no, yung mga question, kapag is it yes, so meaning to say, there is an enter textuality of the text. All right. Now, Intertextuality to enter text is more is one method of text development that enables the author to make another text based on another text. So meaning to say both or we have these two texts. Okay, we have these two texts, no? Para magamit natin intertextually. Okay, na magamit niya as a basis yung isa. Okay, now. It happens when some properties of an original text are incorporated in the text that is created by another author. Okay, again, another author. Okay, don't forget that. That is intertextuality. Okay, so let's proceed now. Okay, proceed. What's more? Now, we have this going webby. Directions for this activity. Go to a website, then your teacher assigns to you. Then start reading and list down the highlighted text and its corresponding URL. If you decide to click on a particular, let's try to see. Go to the website your teacher assigns to you. Then read to start and list down this highlighted text. I have here https www.flickr.com or photos. So maghanap kayo ng link, no? Tingnan nga natin kung ano pa itong URL web na address. Okay, we have this name of the link. Then list down the highlighted text corresponding URL if you decide to click onto this uh, link. Okay, what good readers do? Makikita nyo dyan. No? Makikita nyo kung ano ba ang ating link. Okay, that is on web address. All right, so you continue no, in finding that 
web. Okay. So, let's proceed. Activity 2 is identifying enter text. Okay. The reasons now is to analyze each statement, then answer the guide questions. Write the answers on a separate sheet. Okay, kanina, maghahanap tayo ng links. Then out of that links, or pwedeng ibigay sa inyo ng teacher based sa mood full. Okay, maghahanap kayo ng address, enter, uh, ano ito, ng URL. Ano pa ito makikita natin doon? Okay. That is writer test. For this activity is for intertext. Okay. Tingnan nga natin. Number one. Victor Magtanggol is a fantasy series based on a Norse mythology of Europe. Letter A. Are there two or more stories involved? Hello class or from the viewers who can answer this? Okay, meron bang two or more questions? Uh, two or more fantasy series na makikita natin dito? Rialin, hello! Okay, sana ba si Joel? Sana ba si Resurrection? Okay, if yes, what are they? See, is there connection between these texts? D, what type of text development is this? Pwede nga nga natin, Rialin, kung ano ang iyong sagot. For letter A, the correct answer is yes. Tingnan natin. If yes, what are they? Stories between Victor Magtanggol and Norse mythology. Is there connection between these texts? Yes, of course. Letter D, what type of text development is this? Oh, Kenneth, incarnation. Yes, very good, Kenneth. Go lang ng go. Okay, what type of text development is this? This is enter text. So, di ba nakita natin ang kaibahan or in when we compare enter text and enter uh, hypertext chaka enter text. Yung hypertext it involves hyperlinks. And those hyperlinks, makikita natin yung meaning. Pindutin natin yun, makakaroon tayo ng meaning or definition. But here, and enter text, you will incorporate another text from another author. You will use the text. That is enter text. Uh, real in. The correct answer real in is yes. Next, number two. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley is a horror novel. It is also called the modern Prometheus because it is believed to be inspired by the story of Prometheus found in a Greek myth showing a lesson that we should not go beyond the boundaries intended for humans like Restoring the file of someone who is already dead. King, okay. are there two or more stories involved? Marami ba or two? Okay, if yes, what are they? Is there a connection between these texts? What type of text development is this? Any from the viewers, participants, students, Rialin, Kenneth, Joel. All right, what is your answer? Kenneth, none. Meron, wala ba? Two or more stories involved. Kenneth, okay. Yes, Kenneth. Yes, ang answer natin dyan. Okay, if yes, stories, what are those? Okay, ano yun, Kenneth? Rialin. Joel, Incarnation, Resurrection. Okay. These are Frankenstein and the Greek myth. Or we call it the modern Prometheus. Mm -hmm. That is Frankenstein and Greek myth. Is there a connection between these texts? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. What type of text development is this? This is enter text. Okay. So very good that you're following class. Very good. All right. What I have learned. 
directions with the help of the conceptual diagram below fill in the graphic organizers to complete the thought about hypertext tingnan natin kung ano yung hypertext any associations definition characteristics definition and the synonym of hypertext i will give you a word and that word for hypertext is hyperlink okay now that is synonymous to hypertext what is the definition of this if you try to search that in the google okay you will go to the page and you will find a meaning and the meaning of hypertext is a word or phrase or image that you can click on to jump to a new document jumping to a new document next a new section within the current document hyperlinks are found in nearly all web pages allowing users to click their way from page to page okay so page to page hyperlink is very essential text hyperlinks are often blue and underlined but don't have to be when you move the cursor over the link whether it is a text or an image the arrow should change to a small hand pointing at the link when you click it a new page or page place and the current page will open so that is hyperlink synonymous to hypertext okay now let's proceed to enter text write the letters the words that will fill in the blank Monks, choose your answer from the word pool. Write only the letter or capital letter the correct answer. Let's try to see. This is the word pool. A parody and janyan in senyo mojo parody. B allusion. C retelling. D contrast. E restatement. F formation. G relationship. H affection affectation. What is your what? Okay, what are the questions? Okay, number one. Enter text means blank between or among texts. Number two, enter textuality occurs with allusion, pastique or pastic, allu a quotation and blank. What is your answer for number one? Dun, 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 dun. Let's try to find the answer. What is the answer for number one? The correct answer for number one, Rialin, Kenneth, Joel, okay, Mary Jane. The correct answer is G. What is G? G is relationship. Next, number two. The correct answer letter C, retelling. Okay, sabi ko nga, yung intertextuality natin ay merong allusion, pastique, or pastique, quotation, and retelling. Next, pastique or pastic is the opposite of number four. In the retelling method, there is blank of story. Number five, it is better to have loved and lost than to never love the dog. My answer is an absolute yes. That is from Mark 2012, page 1. This is an example of, all right, what is your answer for number 3? Number 3, class, what is your answer? Yes. Okay. So, ayan na. Meron ng sagot. All right. So, tingnan natin letter A. Okay. That is opposite to pastique or pastique. That is opposite to parody in the retelling method there is blank of the story this is there is a restatement of the story pabalik lang na statement and for number five the correct answer is example of letter d contrast a it is better to have loved and lost than to never love at all. My answer is an absolute yes. You have this question. Have loved and lost then never loved at all. 
Alright! So, what I can do? Okay. In the article written by Cindy P. De La Cruz, she stated it is undeniable how the power of social media has shaped recent events. Okay, thank you so much, viewers, for your comments. Okay, you have there in your module this article retrieved from the web page and adjust in your module. Then you click that one in your computer or in your cell phone and search for this article online and examine the links used in the page to acquire more information about the topic that is for hyperlinks what is what are insights have you gained by exploring the information you found as you access the link yeah that's it that is for hyperlinks directions for intertextuality or intertext imagine yourself as a writer then write one paragraph story, then three to four sentences using after text as the mode of text development. Include a reference such as word, phrase, concept, quotation of another word in your text. So mean to say you write a paragraph composed of three to four sentences using enter text. Magawa kayo, enter text yung insert or you begin yung intertwining of another text. Sinabi ko na yun na, no? di ba, sa ating activity. And that includes the references as word, the phrase, the concept, and quotation, and for another word in your text. Okay? Don't forget that we have our activities for hyperlink, what I can do, and for intertext or intertextuality. Right? I do hope, I deliver, and I have made my point all in my topics this day. That is for our week one, module one for quarter four.